Hello, and welcome back to Fable 3. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I have good news and I have even greater news. First off, the budget has been met in this game, so therefore, this is going on in one moment. I'll, I'll tell you the greater news in just a moment. Uh, my apologies for that. Had to answer the door and it was a painter. Okay, so yes, we're having our we're having parts of our house being um renovated and remodeled. So if it sounds weird in this part, it's because of what's going on outside. But perhaps you probably won't hear it because of the sound here. But anyway, Yes, today we are about to finish this game because A, the quota is met for the for the budget for this game. Money is not a problem and plus we are going to finish the main game. There is an there is an after game. Oh shut up. Just take me to Bowerstone. Da 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 Cause once you, once you have filled up the treasury, you know, you'll see no. You will see a change in the casualties, which are, you know, if you have enough money, there will be no kind of casualties whatsoever. Greetings, Your Majesty. So therefore. Oh wow. Oh well. So there. So therefore. It was rough and tumble from here to there. Hey, how's it going? It was rough and tumble from here and there. Sir. Howdy. Ah, oh, it's our mighty king. Hello. You would think after all this, you go know. On, Your Majesty. There's a massive sail on. I've got to get over there. Yeah, here you go. That is most generous of you. Thank Sir? you so much. Howdy, how's it going? So Hello, as you see, uh, I, well. I am. Thank you for asking. So as you can tell, yes, pretty much everything is just just look at that. Just look at that. Way over the treasury limit, which is a good thing. There will be no casualties coming up in the final in the final battle of the game. Feel free to look around. Because this... Mr. Bowerstone, right here! Because this is much different than when I was playing on the 360. And I did a terrible job because I forgot about that. So I ended up getting a bad ending because... Well, I didn't support the kingdom. This time around... And plus, I, you know, I was just playing it with, you know... Um, I was just trying it out for the first time. So I didn't realize what I was doing. So therefore, there's a difference this time because I did the one thing that you should do. When you have... You've got loads of followers, you've had to see. Loads! So the thing you must remember is when amassing tons and tons of money, don't do anything. Just sit there. That's what I did the entire time. I had like about three point. 3.5 um, million in gold. So all I did was just say, you know what? Let me just sit for a while, do something else, and tons and tons of money. So now I can deal with being a king properly and not look so ho hum and tired. Hello. At your service. Thank you. Hello, love. At your command. command. Greetings, Greetings, my sir. liege. Long live the king. Damn right. Why does that hurt to be a save in that point? I will never know. All stand for the king. 
And the dog. Stanford or dog too. The dog's royalty too. What's up? What's up, Kaylin? What's going on? Walter. What's up? Today you must decide how much protection to grant Aurora. Mm -hmm. Kaylin will offer her proposal. Reva will stand against her. Uh -huh. You may speak. Your Majesty, as you know, the threat from the deserts that surrounds my city has not diminished. The darkness could fall upon us once more at any moment. Aurora is part of your kingdom now, and I ask that you grant us protection. Build a desert outpost that can warn my people should the crawler attack. Mm -hmm. It shall allow us to leave the city in time and ensure the survival of your loyal subjects. Hmm. A desert outpost? I've never heard such nonsense. What do we do next? Erect taverns under the sea? Plant crops on mountain peaks? It is a foolhardy suggestion. Why should our valiant soldiers suffer sunstroke and chapped lips in a distant land when they could be protecting the people of this very city? Is it really worth risking the lives of all the people outside these walls for a mere alarm system? Of course not. Let us leave the funds and the soldiers where they belong, right here. The darkness poses a threat to us all. Mm -hmm. But Aurora has already suffered more than its fair share. Mm -hmm. The final decision rests with you, Your Majesty. We got enough, so you know what? Let's build that fort. It's all good. Here you go, Kaylin. Aurora is under our protection. It is our duty to build this outpost. The King's decision is final. A military outpost shall be erected in the deserts that surround the war. We shall not forget this gesture. Aurora thanks you. Ah, you are a whimsical monarch. And that is why you are so good. Damn right. Very well, it shall be done. Get your ass in gear, bitch! Reva Industries is proud to present an exotic tale of romance, adventure, and sand. The Desert Outpost. Bring forth Sabine of the Mist Peak Dwellers. Uh huh. What's up, Today, my man? you decide on the fate of Mist Peak, home of the Dwellers, Your Majesty. Uh huh. Sabine will speak for his people and their land. Uh huh. Reba will dispute his cause. You may speak. I come here seeking nothing but what was promised me and my people. You pledged to restore our home mountains and our right to dwell in them. We have fulfilled our end of the bargain. We have paid with our lives to sit you on that throne. Now you must fulfill your end. Mm -hmm. Undo the damage your brother did to our land. And our agreement shall be satisfied. Okay. Your Majesty, this sounds both an unnecessary expense and an impudent demand. What value is there in a few trees languishing amongst snow and rock? This is not the time to indulge some idyllic fantasy. Those forests are a resource, and we are in dire need of resources. I propose we expand on your brother's initiative and take what nature offers so readily. Say the word, and I will transform the worthless wasteland of Mist Peak into assets we can use to defend Albion. These hands are not yet so old or weak that I can't wring that pretty little neck of yours, Reaver. <laughs> the refined retort of a true mountain goat. You made a promise to Sabine, but it's up to you whether you decide to honor it. You know what, Gandhi? Yeah, you know what? An oaf made is an oaf kept. Are you truly willing to destroy your own land in order to protect it? Hell no. I will keep my promise to the dwellers. The Miss Peak Mountains will be restored. Miss Peak shall become a protected region, and the dwellers shall be granted only 50, over its forests and resources. 
You are true to your word and your honor. The dwellers will stand by you, Chalim. Sabine, you my dog, man. You my dog. Next! The forests of Mistbeaka are our greatest national treasure. And now, thanks to Reva Industries, they have returned to their past splendor. Dwellers, birds, and bunnies are free to roam, laugh, and kill each other as nature intended. Who needs all that lumber anyway? You do, sir. But you know, after all this... Come on, Billy, let's go. Sides. Nice to see you. Yay! I love you so much, I got you this. Oh, thanks, son. Don't ask we why. the coolest house ever. Damn right we got the coolest house ever. That's my boy! Don't ask why he's black. I'm not going to even question why he's black. Because he's black. And he's all that. Uh, so I'm going to do something a little stupid, a little special. So, uh... <laughs> give me a moment. And now it is time to become the cock of the walk. But come, motherfucker! It is time, Your Majesty, to meet fate with steely resolve and commission Albion's army. Uh -huh. We will use the funds we have to establish the best possible defense. Before I can commit those funds, however, I require your signature on a contract stating your awareness of the projected number of civilian casualties. <laughs> Strictly a formality, of course. Though, should the number alarm you, you may wish to donate as much gold to the Treasury as possible before you sign. <laughs> Very good. If you could just sign on the dotted line, please. I hereby acknowledge and accept that none of my subjects will die in the coming war. There you go. See? Worth it. Worth it. Happy anniversary, your majesty. One year as king of Albion. Mm -hmm. Doesn't time just fly? I am delighted to say that the Albion army has been deployed in preparation for the invasion, so we may enjoy the occasion without apprehensions. To celebrate this momentous day, I have prepared some fantastic events. First, you will stand still for several hours while a local artist paints your portrait. What? Then, you will choose the 47 varieties of flowers you wish to be cast at your feet what? as you parade through the city. Uh -huh. Oh, and you will need to sign thousands of autographs, of course. Uh -huh. Let's see, you will also be fitted for a new pair of shoes, and uh, of course you will need a new suit. I just wanted to do that just because of some silly ass reason. Okay. Change back time. All items. There we go. Didn't take that long. Now you will not remember me as King Chicken Midas. Here's the final role to rule. The day has come, King. It yes. is time for you to face the darkness. But you will do so in your true form. Over the past year, you have made decisions that reveal your nature and which have affected the lives of all your subjects. Mm -hmm. You have done what many would have thought impossible. 
Mm -hmm. Not only have you raised an army to protect your people, but you have accomplished this while acting as a noble, benevolent, and popular ruler. But you are more than a king. You are a hero. Damn right. You are Albion's champion, its protector. This coming battle is the reason you had to take Logan's place. I look so goofy. Only you can defeat the creature that dwells in the shadows. If you do not, all your efforts will have been in vain. Now go. Do what you were born to do. I have become an archangel! So worth it. One day left. Yeah, let's do this thing. It's here. The darkness has reached Bowerstone. Mm -hmm. The attack has barely begun, but already we have suffered terrible casualties. Mm -hmm. We simply weren't ready. If we don't act quickly, there may not be a kingdom left to defend by dawn. Uh -huh. We have to get out on the streets now. Let's Today do it. we fight for Albion. Damn right. For Albion. For Albion. Tough love, bitches. You ready for a kicking, mate? Let's kick some ass. We're well, we're well dressed for the occasion. Hey, yo! I'm a five-star king, bitch! Do you realize I will whip your ass? Oh, hi. Boom, 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 boom. I am a master crack shot! I wonder that too. Continue. I can throw a Dukins now. I'm taking some serious punishment here. Do what you can, guys. Do what you can. A Dukin! Page. Page, what's up? If that is really you. No. Ah, this isn't real. It isn't real. You know it wasn't real! I'll throw all Dukins at you! A Dukin! A Dukin! Really? What the fuck are you guys doing around? Get the Yes, because if he bleeds, we can kill him. Oh!
Get the fuck. Boss time. So, I'm sorry, man. I gotta put you down. I gotta put you down. I am 
Damn, man. Oh! I had to put you down, man. I'm sorry, man. Walter would have liked it out here. He was always a fan of looking tall and stony. I can oh, imagine what he'd say if he was here now. Shut up, Ben. <laughs> exactly. It's time I return to my own castle. If ever you need to save the world from another abomination, you know where to find me. Right, oh, Gandhi. The people shall never forget what you have done for them. We are proud to be part of Albion. I shall return to Aurora in the knowledge that we may at last. Enjoy peace. Thanks a lot, Kaylin. Well, your majesty. Thank you, Kaylin. Walter was right about you. You're a hero in every sense of the word. The hero I'll be needed. What will you do now? I will continue to serve you the best way I can. I belong down in the city. The people there will always need help. Goodbye, you know where to Kaylin. turn to, Paige. You have done what I thought impossible. You are the ruler I could never be. You don't need me anymore. And Albion will heal easier without me. Well, King, old chum, ruler <laughs> supreme. Uh -huh. Al, you did it. You saved the kingdom. And it's my turn to say goodbye. Mm. I'm not cut out to be a general. Now, I think I'd like to start traveling again. Or maybe see if Paige needs any help down an industrial. But before I go, let's send off our friend in style, shall we? Indeed. This one's for you, Walter. This is the world as it could have been. Devoid of colour. Devoid of life. It is thanks to you that it isn't so. And you did it without becoming a tyrant. The people love you, and you have banished the shadow of your brother's reign. You kept your promise to Sabine and his people, when it would have been easier to turn your back on them. A noble gesture. You swore an oath to Paige to better the lives of your people, and you did so even in the face of great danger. You did for the Aurorans what your brother would not. He broke his promise, but you proved to be the better leader. Without the strength to make those choices, we would not be standing here now. Perhaps we shall meet again one day, King. Aren't you going to tell me my future? The future will reveal itself when it is ready to do so. Seven. Fourteen. Twenty-one. Thank you. That, my friends, was indeed 
Fable 3 for the PC and the Xbox 360. I am actually glad I've I've actually finished this thing and kind of wiped away that evil little that evil little mistake I did on the 360 version. It's not really evil, but I kind of avenged myself, as it were. But this game, this game, in which I started last month has found its ending this month. So, what's following after Fable 3? I don't know. But it will definitely be something... Something regarding, maybe... I don't know. Something quick, something easy, something in a one shot. I don't know. But after all the other projects I, w I will have done, then comes the 500 subspecial, and down the road is going to be the anniversary special, which is in August. I plan to do it in August. I'm not going to say what it is. But indeed, it was great playing this game again. I know there's post-game stuff, but that'll come at a different time. But for now, though... Thank you once again for joining me. It has been one hell of an LP. And I'm glad I finished it. So until next time, this is the Tenkaichi of gaming saying... God bless. Godspeed. Thanks for watching. And of course... Tenkai! Move forward! See you next game!
And as you can tell, the hero or heroine's voices have not been um, uncredited. Not in the credits, anyway.
This has to be the longest credit crawl I've ever seen. Oh wait. You mean the hero's voice actor was a, a supported cast? Really? Louis Timoni was the voice of um, the male hero. I think one of those voice actors was the voice of the female hero. If I've taken the female hero, my apologies if you're hearing that in the background. You're going to be hearing a lot of sound in the background, so. In this case, this game. <clears throat> this game, I have to say, deserves the best, you know. If it's a, if it's a series... That basically just transcends, you know, Western RPGs. It should deserve the best. I mean, it only makes sense. Why people gave it such a low score. Well, they don't know good. You, they don't know good taste in video games. They're just saying that because they're getting paid for it. My thoughts about me doing this a second time and somehow doing it. Better than I did the first time. I feel real proud. Considering that, I, that I've been knocked out at least six, six times. But all in all, and as an experience... <sighs> now it has me wondering about playing the other two games. I'm not sure if I'll get the Fable Anniversary Edition though. Is that the reason why they put all these names in here? Well, it kind of makes sense. I suppose. I might consider getting the um, anniversary edition just to play the first two games. This one I'm already done with. But um, just the first two games, just to figure out the backstory behind Fable 3. Even though it, in, it even though Fable 2 picked up, basically started for Fable 3. Because the last hero... The last hero of Bowerstone is in Fable 2. So in order to understand Fable 3, you have to go and play Fable 2. But that's a story for another time. You think with credits this long, you would think they would have extra added music to it, but yeah. I'm just saying. But until the next time that I do play something else, this is the Tenkaichi of Gaming. Wishing all 
a good day, a good night, and good whatever. And I'll see you next time for whatever game I plan to put up. So until so until then, take care and God bless. The Tenkaichi spoken, and I am out. You've done the impossible, saving your kingdom while suffering virtually no losses, places you among the greatest leaders of all time. Your people love you and consider it an honor to be subjects of such a magnificent hero. Hello, yes, sir. great king. So, so as you can see, people are giving me... Your majesty. Please accept this gift from a grateful subject. You're damn right you're grateful. At your command. More. Thank you. For you, your majesty. At your command. Can I be of service, my lord? Just fills your heart, By doesn't it? It's the king himself. Yay! Now, I think what I'm going to do is stop here, and next time, I'm going to do the extra episode, but I consider this Let's Play done and over with, so I'll see you next time for the extra episode of Fable 3. Thanks for watching.